What is going on guys, Dwarf here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off we got a bunch of starfruit wine that aged to gold star and we gave them some fairy dust that actually made them turn into iridium star and I believe we sold, was it like 59 of those things? Sold them for 371,000 gold which is honestly a little bit less than I thought we were going to get. I thought we were going to get like half a million and then we'd be able to get Pam or house and all the guys stuff but we still have some that's going to finish up I believe today. I, I need to go check that and then we're going to have more finishing up like I don't know a week from now or something like that so uh, we're probably going to hit that half million we're at 431,000 now which is awesome and uh, as you can see yeah I have a little bit of copper in my inventory uh, last episode also smelted a bunch of copper and iron just because we need that to craft some of the kegs that I want to get as well as because it's winter time we gave Gungus a little Santa hat right there so it's super duper cute on her now <laughs> yeah I'm like she's had the dinosaur hat for a little while and might as well change things up especially if it's in the theme of the season, right? So anyways, I believe, speaking of uh, Gungus and the diamond of my life and all that kind of stuff, or would that be Penny? I don't know. They could, they could both be diamonds, actually. Oh, man, I was about to make a little little thing into, oh, I'm going to go get the last two diamonds, but there's still going to be another 50 minutes until those are done. So <laughs> anyways, let's just go over here. And then, uh, oh, yeah, we have some refined quartz over here. So we'll grab that. Uh, we put some random junk up inside there, so we'd use that for crafting the what, the slime hutch or something like that, uh, which we need like 500 stone on top of uh, all the stuff that we already have in order to get that. So I don't know, maybe we can get that today if we go to the island and bomb the, uh, the volcano dungeon a little bit, because we get a ton of stone over there. Anyways, uh, Penny has to go into town today and don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. I will. There you go. I don't know if we have any other random artifacts I can continue to give her. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, do I have anything that'll... Okay, here we go. Another dwarf scroll. Sure. Like, literally every day for the last, like, week in-game, I've been just giving her stuff, just random artifacts and stuff like that, because she likes every artifact, huh? So might as well, right? So anyways, did I get the uh, radium? I did, and I didn't even realize it. Holy heck. <laughs> That's what I was talking about last episode. Like, I'm not even noticing. This is basically another iridium bar right there. Boom. Uh, we still have gold I need to smelt and iridium I need to smelt. We only need to get about 394 more of these stone, and then we'll be able to get the uh, slime hutch. So that shouldn't be too bad. I guess we can take some of the bombs here, maybe some regular bombs. I don't know, maybe like, let's get like 25 of those, maybe like five uh, mega bombs. That should be good. We can take those to the island, and speaking of the island, we do need to go back there. Oh yeah, we get this uh, snowman. We got this from the uh, ice fishing event last episode. We actually won that thing. We got five fish. But yeah, like I was saying, let's go to the island. We can get ourselves another Mr. Chi special request, because obviously we failed the other one where we had to reach like level 100 of the mines without eating anything we got to level like 71 or something like that which is pretty good and all but not, not, not quite so at least we learned a few things maybe next time we actually get that mission we'll be able to do it right but we have 15 fairy dust right there we have a little bit of gold that one if it says 28 days that means that's good to go okay that's 32 days so let's forget about that let's turn all these golds into iridium we have six left and there's one right there that's gold too two, three, four. Oh man we're going to need to get one more and uh, those diamonds did finish up in the... Oh man, wait. Did I forget to get... I guess I forget to get that one right there. Uh, fairy dust, so uh, that kind of sucks. So I think we need to get two more, which is perfect because like I was about to say, the Crystallarium, we get two more uh, diamonds from those. So one there and then one there. And I think that's it. Then all these other ones are yeah, 32 days, so it's going to be four days from now. And then the other ones are like 40-something days, right? So we get a little bit extra money from those. And Gungus is over here waiting for the diamonds. There we go. I'll grab those. But yeah, we're going to get a little bit extra money from those. And we already harvested a bunch of starfruit wine from the keg's last episode. From the keg chest. Or Craig... Keg... Keg shed. As you can see, we have 114 right here, so we have plenty to put in all of these, so we're good to go in that regard. But I do want to wait until they're all done so we could like, line them all up at once instead of having, like, three waves of harvesting like we did right here. Man, I forgot to get the actual, uh, I have the diamonds in my inventory, I forgot to get the fairy dust. <laughs> Leave that and that one up there, the only ones, so. Boom. And then wait a second, it's going to turn into iridium, and then it'll be harvestable. Boom. Awesome. Is there any more? So that one's... Yeah, see 40 days right there. Is that a... Okay, that's silver, so you can just barely tell if there's a silver star right there, so... There you go, boom. And wait a second, and... There we go, awesome, so the wine that we got today is going to be another hundred... Okay, perfect. Should we give Pam her house? If I look at my notes right here, Pam's house is 500,000 gold, which we have, and 950 wood. Should I do that right now? 10 a.m. Penny's in town, busy probably with the kids. Is it snowing outside or something like that? No, it's sunny outside. Hmm. Let's surprise her. Actually, I don't even know if Penny's going to know about it, but I, I guess surprise our mother-in-law, right? So 950, I guess I'll just grab the whole 999 wood right there. Uh, then is that it? I don't need any other resources. Yeah, I just have 5,000 written down. So I guess we go over to Pierre so we get the money immediately, huh? And then, uh, oh yeah, there's stuff I was smelting overnight. Okay, let's check these and check the mail and whatnot. Oop, there you go. See what we have here and then 
Uh, later, we could do the quote unquote morning bizwick, right? And Caroline randomly gave me a cauliflower right there. Here's a vegetable for my little garden. I keep out back. Oh, yeah, then I guess because it is a new week, we have a regular special request down there by Miss or uh, Mayor Lewis's house. So we can check it on too. Caroline will be pleased with the purple mushroom. I think I have that. So let's let's do that. I think I have those at home, although I did just turn one into a, a life elixir last episode off camera. So that kind of sucks. I think I still have some left over, though. And I guess we can go next door to get to something from Harvey, right? Like some sort of like basically a life elixir, but that costs money. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But Harvey, uh, no, not Harvey, Pierre, you're going to be buying the 100,000 gold starfruit wine right here. Boom. And now we're over 500K. OK, cool. Oh, is it like the aerobics class or something like that going on right now? Because we got Emily over there. We got to. Uh, oh, if Robin's here, that means we can't. What, what time does she go back home, though? Because she does the and then, yeah, there's Marnie there, too. So we, can, we can't go get Robin to start building Pam's. I'm like, she would have started tomorrow anyways. Newspaper right there. Uh, but I guess we'll have to wait another day, huh, man? I guess I'll grab these things and grab the special request here. Ride the train tracks all the way. Robin's resource rush again for a thousand pieces of stone. Two dozen eggs. Yeah, you know what? Let's do Robin's resource rush again. I was already talking about getting the 500 stone for the, was it the slime hutch? So let's do that. I'm like, we just did, was it Rob's resource rush for stone? And then we did it again for wood and now we're doing it again for stone. So we're just doing it nonstop. But hey, at least it's kind of motivating me to get out there and go grab some stone, grab some wood and et cetera, right? Let's stop running out of it just immediately, huh? Miss Penny is doing her best to get me up to speed my schooling. She's really nice. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm her husband, right? Luckily, I remember some things from my old, old life before washing up on this island. So it's not as difficult as it could be. Hmm. Miss Penny says she's impressed with how much I know. How old is he supposed to be? And how long does he end up on the... Oh, jeez. How long was he on the island? Like, I know he's a kid and all, but... Oh, hey, another thing for Penny, I guess. <laughs> another rusty cog there. Man, Omni G. Yeah, we have like 70 of those things. And there's probably... Yep. Bunch of coffee done over here. Even the banana tree, mango tree there is done, too. Yeah, we haven't been here in a few episodes, huh? Starfruit are down... Yeah, starfruit are a done a down a there. Golly, can't speak. Let me keep getting the uh, worms. Whoa! Three Omni Geo. Our luck is negative 5%, but we got three Omni Geos and two Artifact Tros right there. That was insane. Holy. Well, anyways, uh, I guess we'll go over to. Yeah, let's go over to Mr. Cheese first. Then I'll come back over here and grab the star fruit and whatnot. Uh, by the way, we're not putting star fruit in the kegs just yet. Oh! Oh, I forgot to check them on these. Yeah. I forgot. I think it's been done for a little while, so we're missing out on a little bit of progress there. And I guess I'm going to, have to always cut down this tree. So whoops. Sorry about that little baby tree. Uh, but anyways, let's see what we have over here. Four precious stones. Find four. Wait, how am I supposed to? Oh, 20 days, though. Then I find like two or three of them during the no hunger challenge thing. So it's possible if I just go to the school cavern, at least I'm able to eat food, right? So. And then, yeah, the other one's extended family. We already did that. Wow, 40 chi gems for doing this. 20 days. It would have been nice to start this yesterday. We'd have 21 days. But then again, we still have that fishing event that would have taken me to 10 p.m. anyways. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Let's accept the quest for four precious stones. Hopefully it's not going to turn it into a heckin' uh, infinity gauntlet or anything like that. With Was it four prismatic shards I need to get? Like, that's possible. And we get 40, uh, too bad it doesn't say, but it, we get like 40 chi gems. And then, yeah, a thousand pieces of stone. That should be easy. But over here, yeah, we have 31 chi gems right now. I want to see Hopper, Genimo chest. And then we have a bunch of, oh, yeah, we have a extra golden walnut so we can get two more chi gems. Sure. Wait, how many do I have? I guess three. Okay, so that's good. So we have 37. That's actually pretty good there. Do I want to get it that didn't unlock anything extra that we didn't already have unlocked? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing anything right now. Like, the horse flu is still at the top of my list. Pierre's missing stock list. I don't know. Wintertime, I guess it makes sense, because you guys said uh something. I, I Like, we could buy every seed from him all year round, I think, is what this is. So, I'm like, wintertime, we also have that night market event, so we don't really need this. We could buy any seed during that three-day event during that, right? If we need any, because I have a bunch of extras left over, I'm sure. I'm still thinking about the horse flute, because that'd be really cool to myth bust if I could actually take the horse flute here onto the island. That'd be crazy. Like, how would the horse even get back? Or how would the horse even get here in the first place, huh? <laughs> I guess I could just blow the horse flute again, and then it just teleport to wherever I'm at. Oh! oh! Hold on. While I'm here, I might as well kill these slimes. There you go. And then, uh... There you go. Just because I, I I need to kill... 
How many do I need to kill? I forget what the number was specifically, but I need to kill a certain amount of slimes. And then the guy in the Adventures Guild is going to give us like a slime ring or something like that. That makes it where slimes just don't do damage to us anymore. And I wonder how helpful that's going to be during the No Hunger Challenge in the in the Skull Cavern. That's going to be amazing if we could actually do that, you guys. But right now, how many is this? Five? Five or six? I don't know. Uh, I thought I needed to go to the dungeon anyways and uh, explode a bunch of heckin' bombs over there and get some good uh, stone. I guys are back. It's 1.20 a.m. right now. Uh, I'm on layer 4. 1.30 a.m. Golly, let's get out of here. I don't have any coffee, and we're about to fall down into the... There you go, grab that. Ah, I can't get the mushroom. I thought I... I guess that's a uh, iridium star one that doesn't stack up. Man. All right, let's fall down this. 1.40. We might be able to make it back to the farm in time. At least we'll be on the farm area. I assume if I... Oh, what's... You know, I think... I think if I fall asleep outside in the actual farm area, like not in the farmhouse, I'll still lose money, right? And... We have half a million right now, so we could lose a thousand gold, which, you know, with that little bit of money, quote unquote, little bit of money, then like it's a significant, no, right outside the door. Should have left a little bit earlier, but as you guys can see, I, I harvested all the coffee there, got all the star fruit, and even replanted down some of the star fruit. Didn't have enough to replant down all of them, though. Uh, then, yeah, you can see I sold the, the honey, so we got 30k from that, so that's amazing money there. Uh, but anyways, I don't know how much stone I got, so hopefully we didn't lose that. Actually, no, yeah, you only lose items whenever you, uh, like, die in the cavern thing, so... Uh, you just lose money there. I think he lost a thousand gold, so that kind of sucks. But anyways, yeah, I, I tried to empty my inventory as much as possible before we went there. So uh, I had enough inventory space, but man. And by the way, I did. I got one prismatic shard while I was in uh, while I was in it there. Jeez, I'm 8.3% luck today. Not too bad. Who's it? Sebastian's birthday. I think we can give him a frozen tier. We have a ton of those. Is that his favorite? Is that a loved Sebastian? I think it's a loved, isn't it? Yes, that's like the only loved. Well, we know he loves sashimi, too, but. Am I able to make that? That's any any type of fish, right? Sashimi. And we might have some like random fish just left over if I don't have frozen tier for whatever reason. Yeah, just any type of fish that gives you sashimi. Cool. So it doesn't matter. We can just get some random trash fish and give it to him, I guess, huh? Oh yeah, and then Caroline give her a random uh, piece of purple mushroom, but that doesn't count the oh yeah, magma cat. That's kind of reddish, not really purple. Uh, so we need to get the actual, like the poison one. So we need to grab those. But I got one of the prismatic shards, so we need to get three more. Wait, why did that not count? Oh, okay, I have to place them into there. Okay. So I still need to get three more, though. Actually, does it count? Hold on. Because I have... If I just get the ones that are in the Junimo huts, and the ones that are in storage, does that count? I kind of want to check. Because it just says place them. It doesn't have to... It doesn't say, oh, you have to collect them, and then you have to place them. So... I feel like we might be able to finish this, like, right now, you guys. Because I'm pretty sure we have, like, two or three in storage. And then we have like three Janima huts that have Prism Action. And I've got the one I got right there off camera just a minute ago. So I think I'm able to do it. Huh. I know it's from this. I guess I'll grab the. And by the way, 592 stone. Pretty good amount. More than halfway there. Not quite as good as the 800 or so wood that I got on the first day that I got that mission. But still pretty good though. You can't complain about it, right? But these, I guess I'll grab those. We can take them over to the uh, whatever you call it. And any but bones. Yeah, I've got tons of bones inside of here. I might just grab put inside of oh actually i'll get the snake skull yeah i get the snake skulls and we'll put them inside the bone mill and try and get some amount of them right and we need slimes yep we need those for the slime slime eggs so let's grab those i don't know if there's anything out here that's done except for of course the bananas that are like a daily thing and these are going to be eight days and yeah you can see i didn't get all of them there unfortunately but it's not that big of a deal i guess i get the pine oh, i don't have the inventory space so whoopsie daisy but let's just go back to the uh, man i love these teleporting uh, what are they called? Obelisk things. And let's actually water our dog's bowl for the first time in like 10 months. <laughs> Get out of the way, dog. Man, I really need to organize this stuff. Like, I, mean, I guess if anything, I could just move the windmill over by one and then I can have a pathway like that. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm going over to Robin's anyways to get started on the Pam's house. And hopefully she doesn't have the aerobics class like two days in a row. So let's go do that real quick, I suppose, huh? But uh, yeah, and I forgot to do the, the eggs and the milk stuff yesterday. Man, I have to catch up on that. But how many, how many prismatic shards do I have? I have four here. So I still have one there, and the Junimo huts have them too. So let's, let's grab those. Let's actually do that, and then grab the four. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be stacked up there. Of course, the Magna Cap will take outside, and the chest that probably has a purple mushroom for Caroline. Do we have a... Yes, I do. Okay. Made sure that I still had one there, so that's good. All right, guys, I'm back. I want to see if Sebastian's... I didn't check the map. Oh, jeez, we have a heart event. Uh, but I've got a frozen tear for him, so let's see what Sam and Sebastian are doing down here. Hey, Waffle. Hey, how's it going, Sam? How's it going, Sebastian? You spending your birthday playing cards or whatever? Sam and I are about to play Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's way better with three players anyway. Huh, sure. Pull up a seat. 
Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario car. So is this it? We're just playing a game? Or can I actually, like, is there, like, a mini game that goes along with this? I don't know. Hmm, it looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of the Dreadlord Zarth. <laughs> this sounds fun. Cool. Waffle, are you ready to choose your character? Do I actually get to choose? I do! Oh my gosh! <laughs> choose a character. Warrior, I like a direct approach. Healer, I prefer to help others. Wizard, a sharp mind is the most powerful blade of all. Hmm. What would fit my character? the most. I'm like, I was just killing a bunch of enemies. I could be the warrior, but at the same time, I'm growing a bunch of crops. I could be a healer or maybe a wizard. Should I be a wizard? The one that they're not going to expect. A sharp mind is the most powerful blade of all. Let's do that. We'll see what happens if I choose that. It probably doesn't matter which one I choose. Probably get similar results anyways. Hey, that's what I was going to pick. <laughs> Guess I'm going to be the healer then. Yeah, so I, I bet if I was healer, you would have been like, oh, I guess I'll be the wizard and whatnot. Cool. Warrior is my favorite anyway, says Sam. Cool. Let's begin. So I wonder if, if Sam is going to be the healer or the, the warrior and Sebastian was going to be the wizard, I guess if I chose the healer, then everyone would have been happy, right? So oopsie doopsie there. <laughs> I don't know. Probably done. Oh, man, it just fades out. I thought, oh. Okay, it looks like there actually is a cutscene here. I thought it was just going to be that and that was it. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends, as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. There's me right there, the wizard. It looks like that's, uh, is that Sam? No, that's Sebastian, because he was a healer, and then there's Sam the warrior. <laughs> After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. Yeah, the tower, the Necromancer's Tower. There, beyond the moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Solarian staff for his vile purposes. Ooh, let's go stop him. Oh wow, there's actually another scene here. The tower lies before you. Go in the front, fortune favors the bold. Search for a back entrance, let's remain hidden. Ooh, let's do that, let's be sneaky. This is pretty fun. It's kind of like uh, Abigail's little like mission where we played on our SNES. Play like some random game, huh? I wonder if I can still do that, I forget. Or was that just a part of a part event? I don't know. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trap door hidden in the brush. Beneath is a ladder which your party descends. And there's even sound effects too. Ooh, there's a sewer. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. All right, let's go uh, to the right. Yeah, climb the stairs to your right. Or do I want to go to the left? Because it seems like that's like uh, maybe a lab or something like that. I don't know. Or is that just a bunch of glowing green goo? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about that hallway to the left that's glowing, honestly. Let's go see what's going on over there. Whoa! Bunch of humanoids and vats? What is this? You are in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange, glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? Most likely. What do you do? Leave as quickly as possible. Destroy the capsules. Ooh, let's save the people inside. Like I'm here already, right? Oh! As there's breaking glass sound effects in the background. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. So I killed them? I thought I saved them. Man. <laughs> Ooh. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. And there's like skulls on either side. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. There he is. And he's got the staff. Zarth. Intruders. How dare you trespass in my private chambers. Ah, so you've come for the Solarian staff. <laughs> Fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Oh no, he's going to kill us and then we're going to become skeletons and he's going to bring us back to life as, because he's a necromancer and become a part of his skeleton army. <laughs> Dreadlord Zarth is muttering an incantation. What do you do? Cast a pure beam at Zarth. Put a shield charm at your friends. Ooh, so protect them first or attack first. Let's protect our friends first, because I'm a wizard. You place a shield charm on Sam and Sebastian. Whoa, Zarth sends bolts of pure dark energy flying. 
one of them strikes at Sebastian, but your shield charm reflects it back into Zarth's face. Whoa, friendly fire. Zarth is defeated and the Solarian staff glows peacefully. Order has been restored to the world. Wow, we've done it. You finished a scenario with a B rating, A. That was pretty fun, honestly. I like that. So is there like an A rating, a B rating, C rating? I guess we got kind of mid there, huh? B rating? Hey, not bad. You know, probably because we like killed the people in the basement or whatever instead of like just ignoring them, I guess. Uh, and I wonder what would happen if I went to the right staircase instead of to the left glowy door and all that kind of stuff. Or if we went through the front door instead of going to the hidden trap door. A lot of different choices there. I wonder if, uh, actually this is the only time you could do it because it's a hard event. Yeah, so oops. Uh, I guess I didn't really get the best outcome there. <laughs> hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Yeah, thanks. So was that a good ending or? I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. So as this heart of it ends, does that mean Sebastian's actually here and I can give him the frozen tear? I think so, right? He is and he's in bed. Whoops. It's not him. <laughs> I'm going to have to wake him up to give him a birthday gift. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Yeah, so he was playing a minute ago. Now he's in bed. Golly. Hey, uh, is he maxed out yet? He is. Yeah, because he's a, a, well, he's a, he's a dateable person, but he's maxed out for a dateable person. So we can't get him to 10 hearts. Hey, don't let me stop you from getting your work done. And uh, let's talk to him again. Get another heart event or you know, heart points with a birthday multiplier. If you aren't busy, I don't mind if you stick around. Hey, no problem. I'm going to leave anyways. I got to go upstairs and start building a mansion, right? So let's go upstairs. Go to whoops. Let's go over to Robin. Let's get her to move that windmill thing over by one pixel, I guess. Like maybe I put it there if that torch was. Ah, I guess I could place it there, actually. Yeah, like I hardly use it anyways. Yeah, sure. That'll work, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right, so that'll be good, and then we'll have a little bit of room there. Cool. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I guess that's it. Oh, wow, our shed is, like, breaking into the cliff there. I didn't notice that at first. But we still have all this room for a slime hutch, but I do want to get her started on Penny's, or not Penny, but Pam's community upgrade. Wait, do, where's my wood at? Oh, I must have put it up. Wait, where'd I put it? That's 50 a.m. We have enough time to go home and grab it and come back, so... I can still do that, but hopefully it's not on the island. I don't think I put it on the island. I might have. I'm not 100% sure, but let's just go back to the farmhouse and hopefully I have them there. But uh, I still have the prismatic shards in my inventory. I can go check that on the island as well. Let's go give Caroline her, her purple mushroom and stuff. Because today's the last day to do it anyways, right? So let me go home and grab that wood real quick. So we have, yeah, we have 441 wood there, but where's the other wood at? I must have left it on the island. Golly. All right, I guess we'll go to the island. I guess while I'm there, we can try the uh, Mr. Cheese, like, prismatic shard thing and see if that actually works. Yeah, it is, man. All right, let's grab that 999 wood right there. I guess we'll go over to Mr. Chi real quick. At least it's 10, almost 11 a.m., so still plenty of time to, you know, do all these different errands that I want to do, right? All right, so we're over here with Mr. Chi. Let's go inside of here. So where do I have to put? I have to put it in that little box. Okay, so if I put all four of them in there. Did that work? Oh, my gosh, it did. Holy, I didn't even... I guess that, that's good that I kind of kept them around. I didn't sell them. I didn't craft them into... I don't even know if you can craft them into anything, but you guys know what I mean. Gift them or anything like that. I'm impressed with your... Oh, he's just saying the same thing he said a thousand times before. But, yeah, we can get the horse flute now. Oh my gosh, let's do it. Because I've gone through this list multiple, multiple times. And even with 77 chi gems, I don't know what to get next. Other than the horse flute. Let's get the horse flute. Boom. So I have to keep that in my inventory? I guess so, huh? I thought it was like a passive thing. I thought it was like, oh, I guess I have all these. Oh, that was the key to the town. That was the last thing that was missing. Okay. So I guess we have everything in the wallet now. Huh. All right. Well, that's cool. So I guess now I have another permanent thing in my inventory in the form of the horse flute. So if that's the case, let's go outside. Let's myth bust. If we could actually bring the horse to the island. Oh my gosh. It worked. Holy heck. So this must be the only way to bring the horse to the island, huh? It's with the horse flute. Other, otherwise, like, you can't like go to Willy's and ride the boat and all that kind of stuff. You can't get the horse to, to click on the, the island obelisk and whatnot. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's just kill these slimes while I'm here. Because, you know, like I said, we need to kill a certain amount of slimes in order to get the slime ring or whatever. To make it where slimes don't do damage to us and whatnot. So there you go. And I guess I'll just ride the obelisk, the, the farm obelisk and blow the horn again. And our horse is going to teleport to us again. So <laughs> that'd be really cool. And yeah, I guess I guess we just move around anywhere because I usually leave the horse around just random places and then uh, blow the horse flute again. Is that the same flute, uh, same a tune or is that a different tune? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I guess we just ride the horse over to the thingy over here and then blow the horse flute again over by Robin's. Huh? 
Yep, so we're in the mines. Can I do it in a cave? Oh, you can't do it in a cave. That would have been funny. <laughs> it has like a different tune there. If you could do it in the skull cavern, that would have been super duper helpful, although he gets stuck super easy, I'm sure. And uh, let's just go down here to Robins. We have the wood, we have the money. I think that's all I need, honestly. So let's go into here and let's get that started. Don't want to accidentally gift that to her. There you go. Community upgrade. What's that? You want to build Pam a house? That's a great idea. I'll just need 950 wood and 500,000 gold. And we have 560,000, so we have enough. And we have 999 wood, so we have enough. Let's do it. That's so generous of you. I'll start working on the upgrade tomorrow. It should take around three days. And I think we have that upgrade. Or I guess maybe it starts tomorrow. That mod like shows Robin's progress on the on that thing over there. So what, what what's happening? If, if I go down here tomorrow, at the beginning of next episode, is Pam... Is, is there is her trailer going to be gone and Robin's like building where its plot was or like what happens there? I'm like there's plenty of room here to like I don't know move the trailer there and then start building here you know I don't know I guess we'll just have to wait and see but for right now uh, let's go oh Caroline it's 1 30 we'll have a little bit of time to give her if she's even here is she even here hold on I didn't even look at the map Oh, she's in the park. I didn't notice that. Okay, let's go over there. I don't think I need to do anything over here in the actual shop, so I think we're good in that regard. And, uh, what is her name? Robin's mission. To get 1,000 stone. I think we have 500, 600 already, so I guess I can blow up a few more bombs and finish that today, huh? So what happens if I do this? Like, does the horse teleport? <laughs> yeah, I guess he does. He just jumps a couple pixels, huh? So, let's gift it to her. Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Ain't no problem. Here's your payment as brought. I don't even know how much she was offering. Like 600 or something? 750. Okay, not too bad. And I think she's maxed out already, right? Like if I just talked to her. Yeah, she's already maxed out. Are you excited for the new year? I absolutely am. Oh, a train! I predict that you'll be super successful on your farm. Oh, thank you. So let's go on the train. Because uh, isn't there like a chance that items could fall off the train or something like that? As well as a chance of me getting run over by the train like that one time? Man, I need to go back and like highlight that thing. It's like a YouTube short or something stupid. <laughs> I need to do that. I need to write that down before I forget. But let's go over here. Let's go to the train. Hopefully we're not going to miss it this time because we're eh, relatively close. Let's see. There it is. There's the front of it. So let's go over here. Let's not get run over. And uh, let's get the worms right here. See if there's anything that's going to fall off. I think you guys said that it happens on the one with the open top like that, right? I don't know if I have to actually physically hit it or anything like that. Okay, there's some greens right there. Anything going to fall off? Nah, nothing there. There's a passenger. Thing. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa. Frozen G. Whoa. You guys are right. You do get some stuff off of it. Huh. So you kind of have to, like, line the, the tracks, which makes sense, honestly, to kind of get some of the stuff. So I guess if that's the case, get on the horse, just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, huh? Get a loop. You know, so was that it? Or do I have to wait until the train leaves and they're still... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now they're, now they're dropping wood. Yeah, just two wood, three. Yeah. Oh, more frozen geos though. Oh, oh, oh more. Fro <laughs> Look at that. They're actually physically falling off. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and they're actually coming off the open top ones like that. Cool. And it looks like the train's ending, so it seems like we got everything here. I wonder if I wasn't physically here, if they'd still drop the items and I could still get it, even if the train already passed. Or if I have to actually be here to watch the stuff fall out to actually get the stuff. I wonder. But hey, at least we got some stuff like coal and seven coal. A leprechaun shoe. What? Plus one immunity, plus two defense. That's not as good as. Yeah, plus five defense and plus eight immunity. But hey, that's pretty uh, on topic for real life, though, because St. Patrick's Day is uh, yesterday, I think, when this video goes up, right? So <laughs> at least we got something kind of neat from this, huh? other than, of course, the 13 frozen jets. That's pretty good. Five copper ore. I don't know if we got any stone. We got like five wood or something like that from that and eight or seven coal. That's pretty good, honestly. Maybe some mixed seeds and stuff, too. Not too bad. Can't complain about that. So anyways, any worms around here? I think we got everything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I need to drink some coffee, but yeah, man, having this horse food is just a game changer. I love this. Holy heck. Uh, thankfully, we we're able to actually do the prismatic shard thing. Like, we didn't have to actually get four of them for the mission. We just had to go donate four of them. So if anything, we kind of traded in four prismatic shards for the horse food. But honestly, they're just sitting in my chest, so I don't even know some missing. So I know I guess we'll just go back home. Maybe I'll go back to the island, bomb the uh, volcano dungeon a little bit more, get a little bit more stone. But I think right now we have enough stone to do the uh, slime hutch if Robin wasn't already busy with Pam's house, right? So let's just go to the bus stop. Oh, yeah, if anything, I do have that quote unquote morning busy work to do with the, uh, the farm animals, the, the chickens, and the cows and ostriches and all the guys. I need to just pet them in general so I can keep forgetting to do that. I'm always like preoccupied with stuff over here. Huh? So just do this. OK, yeah, it's 5 p.m. right now. Do it before they go to bed. There you go. So we don't miss out on any love over here and whatnot. So it looks like our ostriches are both adults now. So that's really good. Let's grab the cheese and I'll put the milk inside there. 
And we already, oh wow, we have another ostrich egg, cool. We have a backup over here, it looks like so. <laughs> looks like I have a lot of work cut out for me here, you guys. All right, guys, back. I think I just got the doo -doo 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 sound effect saying that I just finished uh, Robin's mention right there, so that's good, man. Just two days, that's all I needed. Honestly, probably could have done it in one if I kept on going here, but uh, especially if I didn't come here at like 5 p.m. or something stupid, right? But still had plenty of time to get a bunch of stone, and hey, we're going to be using that stone anyways for the stone hutch, as well as just kind of have a good stone supply anyways, so that's not too bad there. Let's grab some of the random free stuff from this. Mushroom there. Probably don't have nothing there. Oh, a little bit of hardwood. Can't complain about that. And I did get a lot of cinder shard. Yeah, 44 of those. Golly. I know I could actually trade. Oh, I need 100. Man, root splatter. Is that good? Three attack. Eh. Like, if that was three defense, maybe I'd use that for the hungry challenge and all the kind of stuff. But nah, I guess we'll just save that for something else, huh? Uh, especially that item you guys said last episode. Or two episodes ago. Whatever that was. So we have 474 stone there. We could get Robin's 2,000, 2,500 gold from that, no matter what I do. And now we have a pretty good amount of stone just in general, so that's good. Let's just go home right now. Holy heck. What an episode. A lot of progress. Looks like some of my preserving jars finished up. Did any of my uh, things downstairs? I don't know if any of those things finished up. And by the way, I, yeah, I think I have enough time to check up on the uh, mayonnaise and whatnot in the, in the barn, so I guess I'll do that. All right, I think we're good. I just sold a bunch of random uh, barn stuff right there. Let's go to bed. It's 140. And I have some fertilizer still in my inventory. Hold on, can I blow the horse flute while inside of my house? I can't! Man, that would have been funny. <laughs> Alright, that probably would have woken up Bendy too, but... Anyways, day 10... Jeez, day 10 of winter. Golly, that went by fast. About 16k overnight. Not bad. I don't really try to make a lot of money right now anyways. I'm like, we just spent a half a million, so hey, any little bit of money would help, but... Let's just see if there's anything... Yeah, still yelling at me about summoning the horse, but... Do we have a baby? Is it in the crib? It's not. Okay, it's probably an actual week until we, uh, get another actual physical baby, huh? Physical baby, jeez. Anyways, there's a little Gungus right there, pat her on the head with her little Christmas Santa hat. And, uh, I guess we'll just end the episode off right here. Holy heck, what an episode. We did a Mr. Chi quest, like, we accepted a quest and then, like, turned around and finished the quest, got 40, whatever does he call them, Chi coins, Chi tokens. The heck? Oh, I'm picking up a rug. Four per four, a point, a three, a percent luck today. Not too bad. If I go downstairs, any of these turn to gold yet? No. I think the nearest one is 38 days, so it's going to be 10 more days there. 10 more days, 10 more. Wait, I thought some of them... Oh, those ones down there are gold, I think. Are those gold? Ten... Oh, no, those are uh, silver, too. Man, I thought they were gold because they're uh, just barely peeking over my hotbar, but... Yeah, I think all those are 10 more days there. Well, these are two more days. Because 30 days, and once it turns to 28 days, it turns to gold, so... Need to make sure I stock up on some of the fairy dust over here again, and... How many more days is that going to be? Those are two more days until those are done. How many more days until I get another round of diamonds? Well, okay, perfect. That's that's going to work out perfectly. So we're going to get 12 more diamonds, therefore 12 more fairy dust. And then uh, probably going to get another round of those, maybe two more rounds of those before we actually do the little bottom row. That's like 10 more days, right? So I know it's Penny. What are you doing outside in the snow? I spent this morning repairing a few of the fences. They should be as good as new. Hey, thank you, Penny. Holy heck. So where would those, those have been? Because I think I... I guess I broke those already. I don't know where these fences she's talking about is, but hey, that might be a good thing that I don't know some, right? Because she fixed them and made them good as new. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll just end the episode off right there. Holy heck, what an episode. Let's get our te horse to teleport like 10 pixels. <laughs> there you go. But man, what an episode. We got the horse flute. We did the Mr. Chi quest and all the kind of jazz. You guys know the deal. We got started. Oh, let's go see what that looks like. We got started on Pam's new house. I wonder if Penny knows about that. She probably doesn't, so it's going to be a huge surprise. What, next episode, two episodes from now, when she actually discovers it, when the house is done? Oh, there's Pam right there. She's probably questioning why Rob is outside, like, building her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's Rob right there. So I talked to Pam right now. What does she say? Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. Isn't there a, uh, I thought there was supposed to be a thing there that kind of tells me to pro Or maybe it doesn't do that for the community upgrades. Maybe it only does it for buildings I'm building in the farm area. Uh, where it says, like, ooh, two more days left till Robin's done. Did you have to, anything to say about it? It's awful cold. A uh, visit to the saloon should warm me up, don't you think? <laughs> I don't know why you go to the saloon. You have a job to do as a bus driver. <laughs> but anyways, I guess we'll just end the episode off right there. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because, man, there's a lot of cool progress that we've been doing, and I'm sure we're going to have even more progress in the next coming episodes. So, until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and me and Gungus will see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.